get to the tower, our radio uplink has been shut down. I'll pay you for the storm. So these men, you know them because shutting down radio free work seems kind of personal. Goddamn right it's personal. They used to be a part of my camp. Seems they didn't like the rules of stealing, raping, murdering. Well, maybe they're like me, just tired of listening to your paranoid truth or bullshit. St. John out. living hell that is now our life came as a surprise to no one who was listening to me when shit went down. And I was one of the few. Most who spoke out against the feds, well, things didn't go so great for them. The cemeteries are filled with martyrs. Those who sought to call out the bullshit and the lies when they saw it. I know, because they came after me. I started Radio Free Oregon in the last weeks before the feds fell. Broadcast from an unmarked van, moving from town to town. In the days before the roads came choked with cars and the bridges destroyed, trying in vain to stop the freaks. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. No, Cope, the cemeteries are filled with freakers, not martyrs. And you had to keep moving, because if anyone had found your unmarked van, they'd have blown it to hell. Just so we wouldn't have to listen to your bullshit Radio Free Oregon. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. Broke another goddamn razor this morning. In our supposed global utopia, instead of getting the best products from around the world, <laughs> We have the shittiest products cheap foreign labor could chuck out. Everything in the last 50 years was built to break. So the truth I once, buy again, buy, buy, buy. You always had to get the new car, the new phone, the new this and that. All to feed the beast of crass commercialism. You want something built to last? You couldn't go overseas, nope. You need real, hard-working Americans at the helm. When we build something, It'll stand the test of time. And the same hands that built this country, they'll withstand anything this new world throws at us. Our roads bend, friends, but they do not break. And neither will we. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. They look pretty broken to me, Cope, but hey, whatever you say. And eh, nothing wrong with a little crass commercialism. I mean, I could use a new bike right about now. Raiders, oh, bastards will kill me if they get the chance. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. It's the Wild West again. And some men are acting like law and order are a thing of the past. But last I checked, this is still the United States of America. And in America, the right of property shall not be infringed. We have the right to claim territory, to hold it, and to defend it. Sure, we took this land from the Indians. No point in rewriting history. But we took it by force. And force is the only thing that will move us now. We're not going to roll over for a bunch of bullies. If the feds, or rippers, or marauders think they're going to come rolling into my wilderness... They got another thing coming. The strongest survive. The strongest take. And the strongest will succeed. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. That's something Cope Law and Order are a thing of the past. What the hell are you talking about? But yeah, you got a point about force being the only thing that matters now. Force and a lot of goddamn ammo. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. Today, I was thinking about where it all began. The roots go deep. Back to the big WW2. 1947, the feds passed a, what they call it, the National Security Act. Now, what this did was give the feds the right to take over our roads, railroads, and radio. Anything they damn well pleased. Without a warrant. Today, the feds are gone. But we're still here. Shine the spotlight of truth on the world. Truth is, I seen it coming. Years ago, 
We had photos. Nero death camps, built to hold us, American citizens. No one believed me. If more of us had spoken up, none of this would have happened. Tell you one thing, it won't happen again. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. Well, you're right about one thing, Cope. All these Nero refugee camps, they did turn out to be death camps. Just not the way you were expecting. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. Many of you probably don't remember the Cold War. But living through it was a special kind of hell. Every time you heard a plane flying overhead, you think for sure that this is it. That's the one coming to drop the big one on us. And we live through the Red Scare. Man didn't know if his neighbor was an American who bled red, white, and blue, or a communist red to the bone. Made it hard to trust. My father, God rest him, taught me the only way to be safe in dark times was to go underground. We built my first bunker with him. But we couldn't build it out in the backyard, with the neighbors spying. Had to go out into the woods, a ways from the road, where no one would happen upon it. With a bunker, you knew that if the country went to hell in a handbasket, you could open that manhole cover, climb down the ladder, and you'd be safe. With your radio, and your hoard of food and ammo. Things haven't changed. Better to dig a bunker, in an early grave. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. Yeah, Cope? How'd that work out for the poor bastards who own the one that I just cleared out? Huh? Not so good, I'm guessing. Since they were all dead long before I ever got there. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. I grew up in these here woods. My grandfather taught me all about hunting. God still works in a world he never would have dreamed of. I built my first treehouse to use a deer blind. Getting height on your target helps your aim and keeps you safe. Back then, I took out my first doe from up top. One day, I put my camps up in the trees. You want to survive and can contribute. You come to me. We got you covered. Grandfather also taught me, to catch a doe, sometimes you gotta lay in ambush. Hide where they need to go, like a watering hole. Today, you're as likely to be prey as hunter. So you gotta keep your eyes peeled when you're hitting up places we all need to go. But Grandfather always said the easiest way to a good meal was to lay a trap. Put a snare by a tree, and you could have dinner next time you come round. But careful. A headless snake can still bite, especially when it ain't really dead. <laughs> My grandfather would have outlived us all, let me tell you. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. Well, that's great, Cope. So you and your granddaddy set traps for him, and you and your old man used to lay down salt licks. Yeah, it's real sporting. I guess none of that shit matters now. <laughs> This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. This earth is a gift for us all. To use as we see fit. To provide for ourselves and our families. I'm not saying this. It's the Lord that gave us dominion over it. But that wasn't enough for some men. They wanted more. When our fuel got low, they jacked up the prices so they could consolidate power into their own hands. So to build dams for electricity. But their precious runs of salmon were more important than heating our homes. We wanted to cut a few trees to build those homes. But the nests of a few spotted owls were more important than the entire timber industry. Now that the feds have gone to ground, let's just say we've eliminated the middle main. No one can stop us from taking what's rightfully ours. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. Thing is, Cope, fuel prices have actually come down lately. Way down. Only problem is you gotta find it yourself. And last I checked, 
There's plenty of assholes out here trying to take what's rightfully ours. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. It's with a heavy heart. And I report six deaths and two injuries from my camp this week. Not from the usual shit. No. It was those damn black choppers. Let me tell you. Everything I've been warning you about is absolutely coming true. Heard those choppers touch down and wiped out an entire group of men and women who were screaming and begging for mercy. Citizens of this country. And they cut them down. My men returned fire, but... Shit! This won't be the last we hear of them either. They're hunting us down. Those of us who dare to survive and mess with their plans. They're killing us off. So they can finally emerge from their gopher holes. Stay vigilant, people. And keep your eyes on the sky. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. This is Radio the Free Oregon. Oregon. Beacon. The truth shall set you free. What they were doing up here. About a month before shit went down, I wrote in my newsletter, Farewell Freedom. Store a year's worth of food and water. Because I knew, no matter what was coming, we were all nine meals from anarchy. I figured, if I could get a few people prepared, the ones who'd really listen, then maybe we'd survive when it all finally collapsed down on our heads. But not as many listen as I'd hoped. Now, those supplies are running out, and folks are going hungry. Remember the parable of the ant and the grasshopper? Well, us ants, who prepared and stored for future calamity, didn't have the heart to starve out you grasshoppers danced while the sun was shining without a worry in your head for what calamities the future would bring. Now, we're all paying the price. Are we gonna starve? I don't know. Fish runs are thinning out. Game is getting scarce. Can't remember the last time I saw a buck or a doe. But I'll tell you this much. We're not turning on each other. No, sir. We'll never do that. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. Ah, goddamn truth, they're bullshit. Last I checked, the grasshoppers all armed themselves to the teeth, came in, killed all your fucking ants, and took everything you own. So, if you're gonna tell parables, why don't you just get them right? This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. What does <laughs> Disappear for two years, come back guns blazing? Don't bother trying to find out. You'll get yourself killed. Besides, we already know. I've been watching them skulk around. Thinking they know this woods better than me. They're doing something with the freaks. Tracking them. Studying them. Watching them. Making notes in their little notebooks. And you know why? They're gathering info. Seeing how long it takes for these sons of bitches to die or starve off. Probably trying to get a read on when the feds can re-emerge from their hidey holes and crawl back into their unjust positions of power. For once, the freaks are on our side. The longer they're here, the longer Runners. the feds can rot down there in their stony prison. The world may not be ours anymore, but thanks to the freaks, it doesn't belong to the feds either. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. Once again, Cope, you don't know shit. Freaks ain't on anybody's side. In the world, it already belongs to them. This is Radio Free Oregon. This is what I need. A bear. You free. The war on terror, global warming. None of that matters now that we're in the shit. But it's all just part of the goddamn conspiracy. So listen up. The war on terror was just smoking mirrors. Started by good old Uncle Sam, using war as an excuse to look for weapons of mass destruction that didn't exist. And global warming? Just a bunch of lying scientists, well in the pockets of those gunning to profit off of all the doom and gloom. When 
you think about it. All of this. Just another way to build unrest in the people. If we're too busy arguing about polar ice caps and genetically altered food and jihad, then we're blind to what's really going on behind the curtain. Don't be fooled by all their misdirection, folks. They point one way, you look straight at them. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. So your sage advice, Cope, is to assume that everyone is just lying their asses off. Is that about it? So... No, that's, that's, that is about it. That's pretty good advice. It's a little late, but... This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. Let me tell you. Before this shit, we were numb. And we were dumb. We were blindly taking in opiates of all kinds. Keeping us sedated like fat, happy cows. Candy, television, booze, heroin. And it worked. But now, well... We're feeling the pain. All of it. Every cut. We are wide awake. And we are watching. You see the truth of what I've been saying from the beginning. No one can get anything past us. We're the ones running the show now. And we're doing it a damn sight better than the feds ever did. Take a deep breath. And hold it in. You're a free man. No one can take that from you again. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. <laughs> This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. It has come to my attention that some of you are out God there working it. with Nero. The very same Nero we saw cut down a group of survivors not too long ago. The same Nero that abandoned us here in this shit two years past. Some would call these people fools. But I got a better name for them. Traitors. And I assure you, I don't take trees in my lane. But I am a reasonable man. So you get one warning. Listen up. Stop what you're doing. Now. Before we find you. Because we will. And when we do, you will pay. I'll personally string you up on the biggest tree I find. And while you're breathing your last, We'll quarter you, and feed you to the freaks you love. That is a promise. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. Yeah, well, Cope, I gotta say I don't like it any more than you. Do your worst. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. The feds were whining babies, suckling at the teat of us taxpayers. But dumb as they were, we can't underestimate them. You gotta know that Chief Muckety Mucks are hiding out there in some bunker, waiting for the freaks to die off. They didn't save the hungry, or their precious constituents. You know the real reason they're in power. They saved the elite, the men and women who played ball. They're sitting underground, probably drinking champagne while they wait. Meanwhile, we're out here dying, suffering, all so the feds can hit the damn reset button. They didn't account for one thing. We're not as stupid as they thought we were. And once they emerge to reclaim the world when the freaks are gone, we'll be waiting. Oh, yes, we will. And they'll be sorry they ever came out of hiding. This is Mark Copeland from Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. Ah, oh, Jesus. Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. You heard me talking about the Black Choppers? Nero Choppers? Well, none have been sighted in days. But don't cool your heels just yet. Nero isn't done, not by a long shot. With Nero out of the skies, that can only mean one thing. They got what they're after, and they've all flown back to their coops. This is the end game, friends. The feds have had this plan ready long before the freaks. Now, they're gonna roll over the earth. And woe 
to anyone who stands in their way. But we've hung on this long. We're not gonna give up now. We're fighters. We've survived two years in the shit, in the freak show. And we are nothing if not prepared. Like I said before, Cope, you don't know the half of it. But yeah, yeah, I'm with you on this one. It ain't over yet.